Chat GPT is a variant of the GPT that is a generative pre-training transformer language model developed by the OpenAI. It is designed to be used in chatbots and conversational agents with the goal of generating human-like test responses, which means that it is able to produce responses that are similar in style and content to those that a human might produce in a similar conversation. And this can make chatbots and conversational agents using ChatGPT more natural and engaging for users. So in today's tutorial, I would like to show you how that can be useful to you as a beginner if you want to get started with Flutter. So with that said, let's jump right in. So with ChatGPT, it remembers what you said earlier in the conversation and allows you to provide the follow-up corrections. How interesting is that? So as a beginner, what will have been your first question? How do I get started with Flutter? Right? So you can see how interesting this is. To get started with Flutter, you need to install the Flutter SDK on your computer and set up an editor for that. So you've been given the various steps. First of all, you need to download the Flutter SDK from the official website. You've been provided with a link as well. After that, you need to extract the downloaded zip file and place the contained Flutter folder at the desired location. You need to add Flutter SDK to your path environment variables as well. So you need to open your terminal and run this command flutter daughter. So you need to install the editor as well. You've been suggested with various editors in here that the Visual Studio, Android Studio, IntelliJ idea. So this is basically how that is being done on Windows. So if you're on Linux operating system, no worry, just proceed with your question. How is that being done on Linux? And you see some interesting answers in here. So how is that being done on Linux? So to install Flutter on a Linux machine, just follow these steps. Download the Flutter SDK. You've been provided the link. You need to extract the downloaded zip file. And you need to add the Flutter SDK to your path environment variable, which in this case is what the slash bash. Then you need to export that as well. You need to open your terminal and run the command to apply the changes. You need to run the command to verify the Flutter is installed correctly. You can see interesting answers you've been getting. So as a beginner, no worry. Just chat with what? The ChatGPT API. So that's not all. Let's proceed by asking it was the next step. So once you've set up Flutter and created a new project, the next step is to familiarize yourself with the structure of a Flutter project and tools and features that it provides. Here are a few things you can do to get started. So you need to explore the project structure. The Flutter project consists of several files and folders, including the password.yaml file, which define the dependencies of your project and the lib folder which contain the source code for your application. Like, it's very insane. You need to run the application. You can run Flutter application by pressing the play button. It's really helpful. It's really helpful. Yeah, check that out. So in here, I'll proceed by answering my question based on my previous what conversation. So let's start with a simple to-do app. So let's have a simple to do app. Let's see what we get so far. Wow. So to create a simple to do app using Flutter, you can follow these steps. You need to create a new Flutter project, define a model class for your to do items, and you're basically going to take in the title and the Boolean, whether it's completed or not, and that will be required in the constructor as well. You need to create a list of to do items and initialize it with sample data. So a list of that. So you need to create a widget that displays a single to-do item. This widget should contain a checkbox for marking the tax as completed and a test widget for displaying the title. You can see you've been given the code. You can copy the code. So in here, it creates a single to-do item. It basically returns a list style with the leading being the checkbox and the unchanged property. And also it has a property title prop as well so the fifth step you need to create a widget that display a list of to-do items the widget should use a list view widget to display the to-do item to pass each item to a to-do item widget you 
can see interesting answers we are getting here like it's very insane it will be very helpful to you as a beginner if you don't know your way out just ask it to your question and you'll find interesting answers here so that's basically it see you in another tutorial until then stay tuned